All right, Dave McKinney here from GatewayMMA.com with the Jiu-Jitsu Panda Chris Larkin, UVC 18 main event winner uh, over Tobin McEwen. Just talk a little bit about the fight in your own words, man. Um, yeah, you know, I came into this knowing he's a strong guy. I didn't want to be, wanted to be on top of me. Um, like I said, I've been working really hard with Sammy with Columbus MMA, my striking coach, and Carlos. The game plan was actually keep it on his feet. I knew he didn't like kicks. Um, I said he was. He surprised me with that first big overhand right, dropped me. Um, he hits hard. Um, so then, you know, kind of the first round I got out of my game plan. You know, I was just trying to tie him up with him. You know, my coach was telling me, you know, jab, move, jab, move, land a kick. Um, out of that second round, you know, coach told me he didn't like those kicks. I wasn't kicking hard, but he didn't like it. So that was the plan. Throw a couple kicks, try to get him the, you know, every time I threw that kick, he was dropping his hands. So I tried to throw a kick, right hand, try to catch him. Um, you know, like I said, he hit me a couple hard more times. Uh, my takedown sucked tonight. <laughs> you know, I was tired. He's a strong guy. Countered my takedowns really well. You know, up against the cage. I'm not a wrestler. I'm a clinch guy. I like to try to get the takedown from the clinch. Um, but I ended up pulling him right on top of me, so uh, you know I had to pay the consequences. Eat, eat a lot of big, heavy shots from him. Um, but every shot he was hitting me with, I felt it a little bit leaving him. I've got a hard head. I've been doing this for <laughs> over 12 years. You know, unfortunately, that's been my claim to fame: is I'll walk forward and eat every shot you got until you're tired. Right. And that's kind of what happened tonight. Um, he just got tired in that second round, and I think I caught him with a couple of decent knees to the head. Didn't really land him solid, but I caught him with a good, uh, decent knee to the body. And I think he kind of turned. I thought he saw, you know, I thought I saw him kind of turn and wave his hand. But you know, this is MMA. You got to keep going to the ref stops you. So I kept uh, trying to land some rights. He turned it up on the ground. I just kind of took his back, landed some more shots, and uh, finally the referee Chad Chukovic jumped in and stopped it. And, uh, right. And it seemed like in the fight you, you know, you had kind of a slow start. You know, first fight in more than t you know, two years. Yeah. I mean, but you got a lot stronger as the fight went on, and it seemed like the momentum turned in your in your favor. Yeah. Like I said, you know, I got hard head. I trained some some of the best uh, ground guys in the in, in Ohio by far. Uh, Roughhouse Jiu Jitsu. You know, Rocky Edwards, big up and coming. Jeff Jessica Prather, um, Olaf, you know, Tony, Jamie, Sammy, Carlos, you know, Roughhouse, uh, you know, hopefully we're, we're on the map now. Um, we're going to keep getting stronger. This uh, Saturday at the OGC, you're going to see Team Roughhouse on the mat, dominating Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's who we are. Um, but we're, we're not scared to stand and bang. Um, you know, with the help of Sammy from Columbus MMA, uh, our striking, Black Dragon MMA, all the guys that I coach, I teach, they're getting better and better every day. So, like I said, Roughhouse Jiu Jitsu is on the map. We're coming for everybody. Right. I know other than uh, tearing down your cage tonight, which you just fought in. Is that what's next for you, the OGC? Uh, yeah, actually, you know, the, the plan was as long as I didn't get hurt or any bad cuts, um, I'm competing at the OGC this uh, Saturday as a blue belt. It'll be my first tournament as a blue belt. So, you know, tear down the cage. I got to be at work at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning at Mellow Mushroom. And uh, as soon as I get off work, I'm back to the gym getting ready for, uh, first thing Monday morning for uh, the OGC. All right, and you seem like you've, you've almost turned into a different person from, you know, when I first met you. You're training pretty much every day. That's all I see is on um, Facebook, been at the gym, been at the gym, been at the gym. Uh, is, is this sort of, you know, you know, you, you're, you have an actual training camp, good guys to train with now. Has this changed your life? Um, a little bit. You know, I'm still, a, I'm a soccer, I'm 34 years old. Um, I'm a soccer dad. My, my daughter's, you know, she's, she excels exceptionally in soccer. My son's, uh, you know, he plays band for uh, Central Crossing, a nationally ranked, uh, you know, high school band. They come first, my wife, my kids, you know, the last three weeks, every time you see me posting on Facebook, that's because I'm not with my family. I miss them. Um, without them, I couldn't do this. Um, you know, I, this is what I love. You know, but it, you know, it takes a lot out of you. So, you know, my my, my son turns 15 this year. And next month, my daughter turns 12, or I'm sorry, 13. This month, um, you know, they're they're old. So I'm gonna put as much time as I can into the gym. Um, you know, I am old, so it's gonna take me a little bit to heal up. I actually want to win a world title in uh, jujitsu. That's actually my main focus. I'm kind of doing this for fun. It just it's been two years since I've been in the cage, and you know, once you do it once, it's, it's you know, like I tell my wife, this is my crack. You know, I gotta get my fix every, whenever I can. You know, it's not the same train with the guys, you know, because they're hitting hard, but they're not trying to hurt me. In there, Toby was trying to take my head off, and you know, that just that brings a whole new game to the to it, and uh, you know, that's what I love. All right, and once again, that was Chris, the Jiu-Jitsu Panda Larkin, main event winner at UBC 18. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Dave.